Hi, my name is Bahadur Ahmedov. Welcome to the course of Single Variable Calculus. In this video lecture, we're going to solve a problem on integrations, and particularly, we're going to find the surface area of, a, of, a, of, a, on, of an object which is obtained by rotating a curve around an x-axis. So we are going to rotate this curve around an x-axis, and we are going to use the following formula in order to find the surface area. Before we proceed with the calculations, what I would like to do is I would like to sketch this curve and sketch the object and try to understand and imagine what kind of surface area we are going to find. So our, our, our curve is given as y is equal to the sine of pi x. So x is going to change from 0 to the 1, right? So if you substitute the zero to here, it's going to be zero. If you substitute the one, it's going to be sine of pi, which is again the zero, right? So actually, so the graph of the curve is going to look like a similar sign. <coughs> so similar the graph of the sine until pi. So this is going to be the graph of this curve. What we have to do is we need to just rotate this curve around x-axis, right? So where x is going to change from 0 to the 1. And if we rotate, we are going to get kind of a circle or, or this kind of object. So we need to find the surface area of this object. In order to do this, we need to calculate this using the formula, which was given above. And we need to calculate a couple of ingredients of this. So f of x is given as sine of pi x. And we need to calculate its derivative. Derivative of this function is going to be cosine of pi x times the derivative of the pi x, which is equal to the pi. And then we need to calculate the 1 plus f prime of x in the square. That's going to be equal to the 1 plus pi square times cosine of pi x in the square. So what we need to do is we need to substitute everything to this formula. So the formula of s is given. So let me write this here. So to the integration of the t pi f of x times to the square root of 1 plus f prime of x in the square. So I'm going to substitute everything to here. So the s, the surface area, is going to be equal to the integration t pi times f of x is sine of pi x times integration of the one plus um, pi square times cosine of pi x in the square. And we have to integrate this with respect to the x where x is going to change from zero to the one. So yeah, so I think the first thing which comes to my mind it would be the substitution. So basically, we are going to denote something like this as a u, and its derivative is going to be d sine times dx, right? So I see the function and its derivative here inside the integration. So let's try to figure out the substitution. So the u is going to be equal to the pi square cosine of pi x in the square. So I'm going to delete this formula. Probably I don't delete. We don't need this. So du in this case is going to be equal to the derivative of this part. It's going to be equal to the pi and the cube. So hopefully we're, we're calculating everything correctly. Sorry. So we need to denote du as the simply pi times cosine of pi x, because here I've, it's going to be u in the square. And the u is going to be pi in the square. So pi times sine of pi x was the minus, right? And additionally, we have to multiply this to the pi and multiply this to the dx. Now we are going to substitute everything inside our integration with the new variable u. So it's going to be two pi, so sine of pi x times dx, so sine of pi x times dx is going to give you minus du over pi 
square, right? Minus one over pi square, and du is going to be here, right? So from here, actually, if you find sine of pi x times dx, it's going to be minus du over pi in a square, which we have here, right? So the only thing which is left here is going to be one plus u in the square. And, and also we need to define what is going to be the borders of the integration. So since we def de define the new variable u, we need to define the borders of the integration as well. So if x is equal to the zero, what's going to be u? So the u is going to be pi times cosine of zero, which is going to be equal to the pi. So here I'm going to put the pi. And if x is equal to the one, what's going to be u? So u is going to be equal to the pi times cosine of minus pi, which is equal to minus one. Sorry, not minus pi, simply pi, which is equal to the minus one. It's going to be equal to the minus pi. So I need to put here minus pi. So we can just change the borders of the integration and by using this minus. And what we're going to have here is two divided to the pi times this integration from minus pi to the pi of the one plus u in the square du. So this type of the integration usually is taken using the substitution, trigonometric substitution. And we've solved this kind of integrations before, and we are just going to use the formula in order to encompass, so work with this integration. So we need to evaluate this integration, and we're going to use this formula in order to evaluate this. So we, are, we need to evaluate t over pi from minus pi to the pi, integration of the one plus u in the square d. And its integration is going to be equal to this part. It's going to be integration, sorry, let me write t over pi. We have to substitute one over t u square root of one plus u in the square plus one over t ln of one divide one plus u in the square plus the u. And we need to evaluate this from minus pi until pi. So if you substitute the pi, what we're going to have here is one over t pi times one plus pi in the square plus one over t ln of one plus pi in the square from the square root plus the pi minus, if I substitute the minus pi to here, it's going to be a one over t. So instead of u, I need to put the minus pi. So with this minus, it becomes plus, right? So pi times one plus pi square minus one over t ln of one plus pi in the square minus pi. So basically instead of all the appearances of the u, we just need to put the minus pi. So it's gonna be huge calculations if we do, if we do this manually. So we can just use the computer calculators and calculate the answer the answer is going to be equal to the roughly 7.78. So this is going to be the surface area of this solid.